Hi, this is Project Spark Alphabet. I'm Lady Lex UK, and today we're doing the letter P. And for my brain tile, I have chosen pick up, and for my prop, I have chosen the plushy stuffing. So let's do the brain tile first. Pick up. Now you might be familiar with this and think I know what this does. Uh, I don't really need a tutorial on this, but there's a few little quirks about the pick up tile that you might not be aware of, and so. Uh, Keep watching and, and uh, hopefully you, you'll learn something interesting. Okay, the pickup tile. Now you might be uh, familiar with it. it you, we use it in the coin brain and all sorts of things. It, it allows you to pick up objects in the world and put them into your inventory. So let's uh, do something that you've probably seen a few times. So it pick up me. So it being the player picks up me being the totem pole. So when you interact with the totem pole, there we go, goes from the world and it's in your inventory. Now then, I'm going to restart that. Now I want you to look at the bottom right hand corner where it says active brains. It says active brains four. Now those four active brains is there's a, a a couple over there in my character that I'm going to show you a bit later on. There's my character here and the totem pole. That's four brains, four brains active, and I'm going to pick up my totem pole, and it's still four active brains. Okay, so the brain inside this is still working, and normally that isn't a problem. But let's imagine you've got a special effect playing on this prop. Um, let's put the burning aura on the prop. So it's going to play a burning aura on that prop. It's going to be at the base, I think. There we go. So it's on fire. It's got a sound effect, crackling and burning and some flames and I'm going to interact with it and pick it up and oh my pants are on fire uh, this is where your prop goes when you pick one up and it popped into inventory surprisingly enough it's actually been put into your trouser pockets um, technically it's gone to your, your centre position but it's, uh, it's basically in your pocket and so any special effect that you've got running on that object is now going to run um, still on the object, uh, which is now in your pocket. And that is a little unfortunate because obviously you don't necessarily want this to happen when you pick up an object with a special effect. Now let me just shrink this down just to show, show you exactly what, where the prop has gone. There we go. Oh dear, that's even worse now. It's between his legs. Um, there we go. That's where your prop has ended up. That's the base of the prop. It's um. Yes. Well, never mind. Uh, okay. So uh, <laughs> there's your uh, there's an issue that you probably probably weren't aware of. So how do we solve that? Well, the easiest one is to say when not held in inventory play the burning aura so now it's only going to be on fire there we go when uh when it's not been picked up otherwise once it's in the held in the inventory that special effect is no longer going to work and it's not just visual effects it's also true for sound so um if you want to play a sound effect There we go. It does the same thing. Got the sound effect. Press B, pick it up. Sound effect phase off. It's gone. So bear that in mind if you've got sound effects or visual effects in your props, the brain's still active. Um, the other way of doing it uh, would be to turn the brain off on your prop, but be aware that once you've turned it off, um, 
th there's no code is going to run in that brain and you can't use that brain to turn it back on again so if you're going to have a, a prop that you can drop it might not be the best thing but you can see now active brains three we've got three brains and it might be a good idea if you've got props that you can't drop that you're going to pick up uh, to deactivate their brains uh, so that you've got less brains running less brains running means less chance of lag in your game so uh, you may want to do that with any inventory uh, prop that you're just going to pick up things like keys and things like that that um, you're never going to drop never got the option to drop and you're just going to collect uh, you might want to turn their brains off uh, like that uh, so that you don't have that problem okay um, just quickly um obviously i've used interactable here but you could use bug player um to pick it up um that's um that's a valid bit of code there we go i've bumped it and now it's gone okay let's delete that because we don't want that horrible alarm noise now over here we have uh uh, popcorn monster that I've made now I've made it out of plushy stuffing now this is the plushy stuffing prop that's that's its normal size let me just make it nice and big so you can see it there you go that was part of the conquer DLC pack uh, it's supposed to be stuffing from one of the teddy bears and it's a very versatile prop I've seen this used uh, various ways you can use it as a sort of uh, cartoon like cloud uh, if you're making a, a scene with 3d objects in um you can use it as a base uh of a sheep body uh it shrinks down really small and obviously you can recolor this to whatever color you want uh but it can shrink down really really tiny and so it's really good you can make hairstyles with it uh, facial hair you can make um trimmings sort of fur trimmings on shoes and that sort of thing like that um it's really good for making father christmas outfits to do the the ermine around his cloak and that sort of thing so it's very useful and obviously you can make you can get it bigger let's rotate this oh not that way there we go so it makes it like a fur coat type thing you can play about with it change the color of it it's very versatile it's a really good prop i think it looks a bit like popcorn so I've made this monster and um, after I made it I thought actually that's cute how cute is that that looks really cute on my goblin I don't really want it to make those horrible grunty goblin noises um, I think it should make cute noises so uh, what I've got here is uh, my model and it's got its own set of sound effects so let's show you how this is done so here we have our head this is just a glued selection of uh, plushy stuff in and you can change them the way that looks to how you like i've attached both eyeballs to the head and i've power linked one eyeball to the other uh, that that means that when this eyeball is powered on so is that one and when it's powered off so is that one and i put the code in this one eyeball so i don't have to put it in both and i wanted it to be able to blink and look a little bit alive so i've got a countdown timer uh every three seconds it's going to power off now when you power off the eyes are shut when you power on the eyes are open so this is going to shut the eyes at this point every three seconds and at the bottom here we've got some code that uh they power back on again so you get that blinking effect okay line two i've got started to owner owner is dead now this isn't a mistake i haven't put the tile in twice by accident um the owner is the head model and the owner of the head model is the goblin and we want to know when the goblin is dead because that's your character that's the character even though your hit may be hitting what appears to be the head you're not you're hitting the goblin that's that's the character that is going to be attacking that's the character that's going to be running jumping whatever um, so you want owner owner and you can also link as many of these as you like but I wouldn't recommend going much past owner owner otherwise it gets a bit complicated so owner owner is dead we're going to power off that's going to shut his eyes and we're going to set dying boolean to be true uh, when the goblin is hit by an attack we're going to shut his eyes 
and when not has power so when the eyes are shut and it's not dying we're going to open their eyes after a countdown um, otherwise this won't run if it's dying in which case his eyes will stay shut and it'll stay shut until he's goes poof and is gone so there are the eyeballs and of course because they're power linked together they're going to blink together let's just stick his eyeball back in there I don't think I've done that very well without doing right now then sound effects uh, let's show you what the thing sounds like actually I need to turn his brain on Here we go. Oh no. Attack. Attack. Ah! Attack. Attack. Yeah! Oh no. Oh dear, I've killed my popcorn monster she's dead right then uh so you can see i put some cutesy sounds in because i thought it sounded cutesy now what you do is uh the goblin model you turn his sound whoops wrong one sound max fade distance one and volume to zero and that will stop him grunting and making lots of noises also stop the footsteps uh on that character so no, no sounds are going to come out of that goblin anymore so i've linked a attached a uh sound gizmo you could use a logic cube if you want but i've used a sound gizmo just because it sounds why not um okay so in that it says owner running and not attacking we're going to play the female panting sound and i've pitched it up to four i've pitched most of the sound effects up so that they sound cute like a cute little popcorn monster um, and when owner is moving and not attacking, I'm going to play the footstep avatar so you can hear its footsteps. And when started to owner attacking, I'm going to set a random number between one and three. And it's going to play one of these three uh, sound effects of Avalon voices. Uh, so it's uh, attack and ah, and that sort of thing. And then uh, when the owner is hit by an attack, she's going to say, oh no. And when the owner is started to be dead, is going to play that crying emote as he dies. And that's it. You can add as many as you like. I mean, if the character does a jumping move or something, you want to put um, and a sound effect in for that, or a sound effect in for the swing of a sword or whatever. You have to put that uh, in. If the the sword makes a noise, then you're fine. But otherwise, um, you put it in here. So when owner is attacking, he's got a song, you've got to swing the sword and make the voices and all sorts of things. So you put them all in here. And because it's linked to this character here, uh, it will be the correct sound effect uh, volume for, for where he is. And there we go. There is my popcorn monster. So that's uh, blinking eyes in unison and your own sound effects and attachments, which is obviously uh, straightforward you've probably done that hundreds of times before so there we go there was the letter p hopefully that was useful for you thanks for watching and keep sparking